hello there and welcome back to my channel of course welcome to my channel if you are new if you are new my name is alex and i post three beauty related videos every single week so if those are the types of videos you like to watch then make sure you hit that subscribe button and also put the notification bell on so you're notified every single time that i upload for today's video i'm going to be doing my 2019 makeup favorites um if you are subscribed you know that i uploaded a revolution favorites of 2019 video if you haven't watched that yet i'll leave it up in the cards and link down below so you can this is every single item in my makeup collection not one not just one specific brand so if you're interested to see what makeup products i was loving throughout 2019 then please keep watching so first step of this video would be primer um the primer that i have constantly been going back to is the mua pro base banana blur primer this is only four pounds from super jug it's really good i love the consistency of it i don't i'm not a massive fan of the smell but the actual formula of it is really nice i feel like it really smooths over my pores it's not too silicone it's, it's it's really nice feeling so i'm a big fan of this if you like blurring primers you'll definitely really like this it does work so for foundation um i couldn't pick between these two because both of them have been like my absolute favorites this year and they are both drugstore you will be pleased to know um so the first one is the conceal and define from revolution this is just a constant fave of mine i'm always going back to this foundation um it's so so good the formula is really good it's demi matte so it's not completely drying on my skin but it's got really nice coverage um yeah i just i'm just not a massive fan of the packaging but the actual formula itself i feel like they need to repackage this with a pump but um the actual formula itself is really really good um and it lasts a long time on my skin so if you've got a combination to oily skin type you'll really like this the other foundation i was loving this year is another mua product this is the pro base long wear matte finish foundation again if you've got a similar skin type to me you will love this so much i have seen people buy this because of my recommendation and they love it so it is really matte um if you do get really oily i do recommend this foundation it's only five pounds the conceal and define is nine so if you want an even cheaper foundation that generally does a really good job at mattifying and lasting long on your skin then definitely check this out the um the coverage on it is really good as well okay so i have two concealers that i was loving this year um, the first one is the again the conceal and define by revolution this is just a complete staple in my collection i always need one of these i'm always going back for it every single day it's just really nice has really good nice medium coverage it's not too heavy it doesn't cake up under my eyes it is very very good i have mine in the shade c1 it's really nice a brightening under my eye as well um i just really like it i'm not a big fan of concealers that bunch up and cake under my eyes so this is a really good one um, i do also like the hydrating one but i think i do prefer this one this is a normal size one which i don't actually think you can buy anymore but these were four pounds actually you might be able to and the super size is seven pound i would recommend getting the super size because these literally last two minutes the other concealer i've been using is high end and this is the Too faced ball this way foundation i was using no born this way concealer uh, this is actually the multi-use sculpting concealer and this is a concealer that i was using a lot in the summer just when i needed something a little bit more hydrating but still had the coverage um it's honestly this is so so good if you um don't mind spending a bit more money on a product and you want something that um is really good coverage but yet doesn't look like it it doesn't feel like it it's really lightweight um i definitely recommend this i mean i recommend every product in this video obviously because it's all of my favorites um this is a really good applicator on it as well um this actually has this has 15 mil of product in it and the Urban Decay All Night has like, what, four mil and it's like the same price. So I would definitely recommend this if you're looking for a high-end concealer. 
okay powder i have a lot of loose powders in my collection um but this one i found to be the best it is the most expensive powder probably of a lot of powders on the market and obviously the most expensive one in my collection it is so good though i did want to choose another one but i think this one slightly takes it up to the next level and it's the laura mercier loose powder this is just something i always go back to on a night out i always rely on this to last me a long time um i do like my drugstore loose powders i mean i've only got a couple but i think this one just slightly tops it and that hurts me because this is literally like 29 pounds it's so expensive but it is so good it is worth the money um i always go back to it it's not too um it's quite finely milled it sets my my makeup um really well it doesn't give you flashback or anything i it's just really it's just a really reliable loose powder i love it bronzer i have again i've loved a few bronzers this year but i think this one it just slightly tops all of them and this is the physician's formula light bronzer as you can see i have used quite a lot of it um i have almost completely ran out of it uh, you can actually get this in the uk now so that's why i'm mentioning it, mentioning it it's like 12 pounds from boots i believe it's a lot cheaper in america but obviously because this is an american brand that's why it's more expensive over here um it's not too orange it's not too cool toned it's just like the perfect amount of warmness for my skin tone um and it's really nice and plus it smells like coconut so it's a winner for me okay highlighters um i have got a lot of highlighters in my collection as you can imagine and this one is going to be no surprise to you i have actually got two this one you will already know uh, this is the soph revolution highlight kit um i rave about this all the damn time it's only eight pounds um and it is so good literally really good quality for the price you pay you literally get eight pounds of highlighter so it's like a pound a pan obviously you can tell which one's my favorite shade but i can pretty much use all four of these so i'm loving this palette i'm gonna keep repurchasing this until the day i die because it is beautiful don't mean to be that dramatic but it is literally stunning and the fact that you only pay eight pounds for this for good quality like that i bl it blows my mind um, and obviously Sophie's one of my favourite influencers so there you have that as well um, but I have been recently going back in with this shade because it is because where it's winter and I'm more pal in the winter um, I can go back in with this shade so I just love this so much it's so blinding it's just such a holy grail for me my next highlight favourite is the one I'm actually wearing right now and this is an Ofra product this is the Nikki Tutorials collab in the shade Glazed donut um as you can see it's very blinding it's a proper icy sort of shade and again i like to wear these shades in the winter because i'm more pal um it's just a really good quality like you just can't you can't fault the ofra highlighters quality like they are known for their amazing highlighters yes this is expensive but if you want a blinding highlighter like that then you've got to pay for it i'm afraid um yeah i'm just a huge fan i did want to collect more but a lot of their sort of highlighters wouldn't suit my skin tone i think there's another one called like star island i might get that one next year actually um, but i just love everything i love the packaging it's like magnetic really good quality high end um they do do minis i'm not sure if they're available at the minute definitely have a look um i think it's beauty bay I got this from so definitely check out beauty bay okay blush again this is something i've got so many of in my collection and there are so many i could choose but i had to pick this one just purely because of the shade um this is the physician's formula butter blush in the shade vintage rouge you can actually get this shade on boots i did have a look the other day i feel like they recently added this shade if you've got a similar skin tone to, to me and you really like the pal nudie peachy pinky sort of shade then you're gonna love this um i can't remember how much this is i think this is 10 pounds in the uk which is quite expensive for a blush but i love the formula of this it's not too pigmented it's not too sheer it's like the perfect amount of blush distribution on your cheeks again it smells like coconuts um and the shade is literally perfect like it's just can you see that 
just a beautiful shade and it looks absolutely stunning on a pale skin tone oh i forgot to show you contour so um there this is probably the one contour palette i've particularly been going back and forth to um and it's another revolution product this is the roxy collab the contour and highlight palette i mostly like this palette because of the the contour shades the highlighters are really nice um but i have loads of highlighters in my collection that i prefer um but this is my perfect contour shade i do actually use this for bronzer sometimes depending on how pale i am um, but i really like this contour shade blends out beautifully the shade is really good for my skin tone um this is 10 pounds um, and you get four contour shades and four highlighters so i think that's a pretty good deal and you get obviously a huge mirror as well so i really like this if you're looking for a good quality contour palette that also sorts you out of highlighters as well definitely check this one out brows it's no surprise benefit are known for their amazing brow products and this is the goof proof pencil i do use mine in the shade three yeah shade three um it's a really nice shade for me i do like the slightly darker brow compared to my hair color but that's just me um i love this because it's not as thin as the the other pencil what's it called precisely my brow um but because my brows are already like semi there like permanently there because i've got microfade in i don't need a thin precise pencil so i do just go in with goof proof because it quickly fills in my brows as long as possible so that's why i've been reaching for this it is expensive it's like 21 pounds but guys this has lasted me so freaking long i think i've had this since last year and i've still got this amount of product left in it so it's lasted me a long time considering i use this most days um and i will be repurchasing this because i freaking love it. it has a spoolie as well okay eyeshadow palettes i couldn't pick my favorite so i've picked four <laughs> um so let me just go and talk, get this one out of the way because you guys know i'm going to include it anyway this is the soap extra spice palette um if you want a good quality affordable eyeshadow palette um that has your neutrals but also has pops of color in there as well um definitely check this out it's definitely one of the best quality eyeshadow palettes that revolution do as well as the patricia brights palette but i can't include that because i only bought that like a few weeks ago um but this is so good the shimmers in this actually work like they're so freaking good um and i just love the shades the quality of them are so good for the price again this is 10 pounds shout out to extra spice you will always be a favor of mine um another i'm gonna start off with the more affordable ones um so the next one this is a beauty bay palette and i use this mostly for the colorful looks on my instagram and this is the eyn bright matte 42 color palette this is only 23 pounds i believe <laughs> and you get a whole rainbow in this palette and it is so good the quality is so good you get a huge freaking mirror as well for 23 pounds if you are looking for an affordable colorful eyeshadow palette where the shades actually work the only ones that are not my favorite are the sort of ready tones but i don't think they're meant to be proper red because red is quite a hard color to make but apart from those couple of tones there if you want a true red you might want to look into getting the James Charles palette by Morphe that is probably the best red that I've ever tried um but apart from that it also has your neutrals in here as well it has a white a black browns gray and then color so this is literally the only palette you need in your life because it's got absolutely everything so I do very strongly recommend this if you don't want to have too many palettes in your collection but you want one that, that sort of helps you out with any look you want to do um definitely pick this one up um, so the next two are high end um, the first one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills soft glam palette I can't remember when this come out but if I want a really quick and easy neutral look with a blinding shimmer in the middle of my lid I always reach for this I reach for this pretty much 80% of the time that I go on a night out because it's the type of look I like to do when I go out um, and it has all the shades there right for me um, and the shimmers by ABH are one of the best shimmer formula on the market. So yeah, I love this. I have, 
I think five Anastasia palettes now. I do love the Jackie Aina one and I have got the Carly Bible one but I'm yet to do a video on it. Um, but I do reach for this one more than Jackie Aina and plus Jackie Aina one only come out a couple of months ago. So this one is a palette I've been using pretty much for the majority of the year. And the next palette is probably going to come to no surprise if you follow me on Instagram. This is the Jeffree Star Blue Blood Palette. This did come out this year and it is just one of my favourite eyeshadow palettes in my whole collection. I love blue eyeshadow so freaking much. I love doing blue eyeshadow looks. Um, it's just really good quality. The only shade I don't like is this blue glitter here called Ocean Ice. That's probably my fault. I had a really bad reaction to it when I put it in my cut crease. But that's probably because I should have put a shimmer down before I put that on top. Um, but never mind. Um, all the other shades are freaking beautiful. I love this palette so much. Yes, it is so expensive. So is the ABH one, by the way. This is like £46. But very worth the money. This was £48. This was more expensive than the ABH palette. But I bought this completely with my own money. Obviously, that not saying that they would send it, but no one bought it for me. Like I actually bought this myself, um, and I'm really glad I did. I love it so much. Definitely one of the best quality eyeshadow palettes I have in my collection. It's just stunning. I love using this palette. So yeah, this is probably my favourite out of all of them, to be honest. Quickly, wanted to shout out a pair of eyelashes I've been using. Um, these are the Unicorn Lashes Lemon Meringue. I use these literally all the time all the time on my instagram on my youtube in my personal life oh my god these are one of the best lashes i have ever used if you love fluffy lashes that are stunning the thick quality black fluffy lashes you will love these i'll provide a picture of me wearing them just so you can see for reference but i do wear them in like a lot of my looks especially on instagram as well and i've just recently got a few other pairs of their fluffy lashes for christmas so i'm excited to use them um but these are my favorite lashes of 2019 they are expensive i think they're 10 pounds but I think if you can reuse them a lot, they're definitely worth the money. Okay, two mascaras that I've been loving. Primark False Lash Effect. If you cannot get this, that's why I've got another one. But this is the perfect every sing everyday mascara. If you don't like thick, clumpy lashes, you'll love this. It's really separating, really good volumising. Um, and it's only £2, an absolute bargain. Um, and I use it all the time again. When i'm at work this again this has lasted me so long i'm surprised there's still product in the bottle like i'm gonna go shopping today and see if i can get another one um but yeah this is really good if that is not available then revolution the mascara obviously if you don't like classic plum if you don't like clumpy lashes you will not like this but if you just want a really fast shove on your mascara quick clumpy black thick lashes you will love this it's eight pounds so it's not the most exp uh, affordable but it's a it's drugstore it's from the soup it's from the super drug it's from super drug um so i love this it has got a really big wand on it though if you don't like big clumpy ones obviously you won't like that i'm just being totally honest um but this is my probably my favorite mascara i have in my collection aside from the benefit ones because i love them um but i haven't really been using them that much so i have been using this way more than them so i strongly recommend this just want to shout out the ps primark primal water i use this to wet my shimmers for my eyeshadow looks this is so affordable it's like two pound two pound fifty and that's what i use it for it is a primer water but i don't use it for that um, I just use it to wet my shadows because I don't want to waste my setting sprays and stuff. So a little bit of a hack for you. Get your hands on this. Um, two lipsticks. Jeffree Star Cosmetics Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I'm actually wearing one today. Uh, I think this is the shade Family Jewels. This is the shade Celebrity Skin. This is one of my favourite nudes aside from Christmas Cookie and Mannequin. Um, really good long lasting formula. It doesn't feel dry on the lips whatsoever. It feels really lightweight. It lasts forever as well, even when I'm eating. So these are expensive. They're £16, but they're worth the money. Trust me, I've got so many of them in my collection. I wouldn't recommend something that wasn't good. So definitely try these if you haven't already. Um, and the other 
lipsticks I've been loving are the Soph Revolution lipsticks. This is in the shade Cake. This is my favourite one. It's a pinky nude. It's beautiful. It's not matte, so if you don't like matte lipsticks, definitely check these ones out. It's a beautiful pinky nude. It's a nice um, shiny formula. It's not drying or anything, really moisturising, and they're only £4. Okay, last product of this video. I didn't want to make it this long, but it's turned out to be this long. So this is another MUA product. Can you believe it? Um, this is, again, another pro-based product as well. This is the Mattify and Fixing Spray. Um, this is the one I've been using all year. Yeah all year to like melt my makeup all together i don't know how good it is at actually mattifying but it's just the spray that i've been going to just whack on at the end of my makeup go to work and i don't know if it makes a lot of difference but to me it does melt in my skin all nice together so that is why i love it so guys those are all my favorite makeup products of 2019 i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up let me know down below what your favourite products were of 2019 and I will see you in 2020. Bye!